Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musioka has today appeared before the seven-member selection panel led by Noah Wakesa tasked to assess the Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Alliance Deputy President nominees. After the meeting, Kalonzo defended his decision to appear before the Azimio running mid selection panel, said he did not want to give anyone an excuse to exclude him from being Raila Odinga's running mate. The former vice president said it was his own decision to appear before the seven-member panel, despite earlier on dismissing the committee chaired by former Kwanzaa MP Dr. Noah Wekesa. Kalonzo described the exercise as more of a conversation and not an interview as it has been perceived. Tess Njenga with more on the story. Despite Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Musioka and a section of leaders from his party earlier insisting that Kalonzo would not attend the Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance interviews, the former DP today appeared before the selection panel. Last week, Kalonzo termed the process demeaning to his stature given the positions he has formerly occupied in the country before. Kalonzo Mekua, Vice President of Akipati, Kalonzo Mekua running me to Araida 2013 and 2017. Eight of Uganda and Araida the former vice president today said it was his own decision to appear before the seven-member panel, describing the exercise as more of a conversation and not an interview as it had been perceived. ...with the panelists led by Mweshmua Noah Wekesha to our conversation, which was very useful. I believe, and uh, because of course I'm not at liberty to divulge the contents of that conversation. I stress conversation, not an interview. I know that uh, you may want to ask a question. You are said you are not coming, and I want to tell you that the decision to come was my decision because I realized we didn't want to give anybody an excuse whatsoever to say Ali Gomea Kuja. So I'm here, and I can tell you it has been a wonderful uh, conversation. Wazee Kama Bishop Njenga, Bishop Zakaya Zokov. I looked at that in my own mind and I said, why would I not want to go and greet Bishop Okoth at his age? Therefore, I had to take that decision, and I want to ask that um, all my supporters who had given me their interview, even the conclusions of those interviews, we are carried forward. While on the campaign trail in Machakos today, Deputy President William Ruto and Ford Kenya Party leader Moses Wetangula disapproved of the move, terming it disrespectful. Ati mumezkia ati walienda kufanyia interview kalonzo muzioka. Nini mumezkia yo story. Ati mutu ya kitenda wili, ameenda kumfanyisha ati kalonzo muzioka ati interview. Ati anamuuliza ati jina yako ni nani. Yaani mimi nataka niwaulize watu wa ukambani wana kitenda wili atajua jina ya Kalonzo all this time. Hata anamuuliza sijui kama amesoma, sijui ama kama hajasoma. Ati leo hii wanapeleka Kalonzo kusimama kwa lai na Sabina Cheke kufanyishwa interview. Hiyo ni madharau kiasi gani? Ni madharau si madharau. Madarao si madarao. Yesterday, NAC Kenya Party leader Martha Karua, Muranga Woman Representative Sabina Chege, Governors Hassan Joho, Weekly for Paranya and Lee Kinyanjui appeared before the panel. Others shortlisted are NAC leader Charity Ngilu, Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya, former Gatanga Member of Parliament Peter Kenneth and former Kenyan Ambassador to Australia Stephen Tarus. Reporting for Hope TV News Watch, I'm Tess Jenga.